This morning, officials with the Richmond Henrico Health District provided an update on COVID-19 cases and the vaccine distribution efforts here in Virginia. CBS 6's Cameron Thompson joins us now live with the update. Cameron? Yeah, and Cheryl, health officials for Richmond and Henrico sort of touched on how they've what they've accomplished so far during this vaccine rollout and some of their recent efforts. Of note, there have been over 64,000 vaccines administered here in Richmond and Henrico, and they say over this weekend they were able to administer several hundred doses through a variety of means through uh, mobile clinics or work, working with their health partners to reach the underserved or at-risk communities in these two areas. And they say that, again, they are still working their way through through phase 1A and 1B, and there have been a lot, or just a portion of 1B rather, still a lot of interest forms, over 69,000 uh, forms for those in the age category of 65 plus, and they said around 50,000 interest forms from the frontline workers, and they say one of the challenges they're still facing is registration issues for their vaccination clinics recently, moving away from the federal signup to a new signup called PrepMod that has also allowed its uh, signup challenges that it is not a private link, so it has allowed some people who live in the area but may not have been eligible to try and sign up. So they say they're trying to go to some paper registration and setting up a call bank to try and deal with that issue. And again, the other issue they say they're dealing with is the lack of supply, getting around 6,300 doses this week and saying that they likely won't get to the rest of 1B or opening it up to the rest of 1B until March. But one thing of note they talked about in this news conference that was a glimmer of hope was the possibility of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine being approved as they have applied for emergency youth use authorization and say that they are expecting or hoping that it could be coming into the communities by the end of February, if not sooner. Working for you in Henrico County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.